We've talked a little bit about pesticide resistance. So let, let's look at this phenomenon that is a concern where they're applying insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, or any type of pesticide. Anytime you apply a pesticide, not all of the individuals in that population will be killed and removed. One in a million may actually resist the treatment. That one in a million is not obvious to the pest manager the first few years, but after repeated applications and the reproduction of the resistant individuals, a population of resistant pests becomes apparent. The chemical that historically controlled that population is now ineffective. If you use products that have similar modes of action, those resistant individuals will not be controlled. So alternate between chemicals having different modes of action to manage for resistance. If pesticides are frequently applied during a growing season, resistance can show up more quickly. Chemicals that are persistent tend to have resistance show up more readily than products that don't remain active over time. Yeah. Would you recommend having using two products at one time just to get rid of that resistance or should you always break it apart and use them separately? Most uh, herbicide labels have a, uh, an area on the label that uh, refers to the mode of action and there are any number of different modes of action. It's not as much about using two different types as it is switching from a different chemistry uh, when you are uh, trying to control a specific pest. And, and you can, in fact, mix different kinds of chemicals together, but if, if one of the pests you're trying to control is resistant to one of the modes of action that you're using, then effectively uh, the, other, the other pesticide may kill the insect, but anything that survives will also be resistant to that uh, original product. Chemicals that are persistent and tend to have resistance show up more readily than products that don't remain active over time. The pest biology is also a key factor. If the pest has a high rate of reproduction, resistant individuals show up more quickly as the population of those individuals increases. Also, pests have, that have many offspring per generation tend to have a greater chance of resistance developing. Obviously, they're producing more. The pest manager must consider resistance management techniques when using pesticides in an integrated pest management program.